Welcome Awaken Intuitives, Natalie here. Welcome back, welcome to any new Awaken Intuitives. This is a channel to have an open mind. That's why I named it Awaken Intuitives, okay? So, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, and if you don't have an open mind, I don't think this is the place for you. <laughs> but anyway, if you wanna learn anything, my belief is that you have to have an open mind to anything, okay? So that's my belief. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're having a good week. Um, it's been crazy hectic, as we know, but I just wanted to say we're coming up on some massive alignments, astrological alignments, okay, with some planets. And the Lionsgate portal every year is 8-8. So August 8th, we'll have the Lionsgate portal. And then um, we'll have a full moon on August 11th. And um, so this is going to be all interesting. I'm going to come back to do a Lion Gate portal reading. And then I'll do the full moon, um, August full moon reading as well. So, but right now I am back to finish up DR, okay? Um, all of this information is for entertainment purposes only. Um, so there's that, and we're gonna start with a prayer, the singing bowl, then the read. Of course, I'm gonna timestamp this, and they will be in the comments, okay? All right, so let's begin. Um, I've got some cleansing, oh, higher frequency cleansing um, music playing in the background. I do not own the rights to the music. I've got some benzoin and dragon's blood um, resin going. Let's smoke it good. Yay. And then I've got an incense um, for the root chakra or base chakra and some sage going. So let's begin the prayer at two. <laughs> okay, here we go. Divine source, protectors, archangels, ancestors of the light only thank you for being here thank you for us being here being able to connect together through you source thank you for providing us with our needs and once when when it is time and when it is right thank you for providing us with mindfulness um, knowledge clarity abundance health joy positivity and growth and transformation um, thank you for providing us each with our own unique abilities and tools and bringing them together. I ask that you will enhance our abilities and tools. Um, I do want to ask for clarity and knowledge during this reading so we can bring more answers in, uh, more clarity in, um, help us gain the wisdom and the knowledge. I ask that you'll guide me through the questions that I've written down and any others that I may need to add. Um, please guide me through the cards and help me and us be able to understand the answers that you give us in whatever way it may be. Um, I do want to ask that you'll provide me and my family and everybody who's watching for all of our inner and outer lives with protection, guidance, safety, and comfort in your light. From this moment onward, I ask for protection, guidance, and safety um, from anything negative, evil, or unholy in any way, shape, or form. And it doesn't matter what it is. When it's not from a good source, please send them right back to its source immediately, no matter what. And provide us protection and safety from this moment onward. Thank you so very much. Archangels, um, please surround each of our inner and outer lives with a blanket of your each of your light. Um, with your positivity, abundance, empathy, sympathy, wisdom, health, uh, clarity, uh, a clear mind, um, cleanse chakras and aura, cleanse our energy, please. Um, provide us with unconditional love and self love as well. Um, and understanding for one another, respect and acknowledgement is so very important. So please help whoever may come in to have those things and good intentions. Uh, thank you so very much and so be it. Okay. All right, so let, let's do the singing bowl now. We'll do it 455. More four fives. Okay. All right. 
So I'm gonna ding it twice and then we'll sing it. Uh, this is cleanse out any lower vibrations or frequencies to bring in the higher, clearer vibrations and frequencies. So I don't need that. <laughs> Three, two, one. just put it on that um, calcite slab that I got from a load on. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. All right. Now we're going to begin the reading. Oh, let's do six exactly. All right. Let's start off with our Archangel Michael cards or Archangel cards. Angel wisdom. That's to cleanse out, knock out any possible energy left behind, if any. All right, source, divine protectors, ancestors of light. Will you please provide us with a message that may help this reading? Uh, possible clarity or just even a blessing? Wow. Wow. We got understanding in my prayer. So it says, your angel guidance is to examine yourself and your current situation in depth so that you have a clear awareness of the underlying lying reasons for your challenges and situations. Acquaint yourself with facts about situations and attitudes before you take decisions. Um, Self-awareness is a necessary foundation on which to build strong relationships, friendships, and work. Perfect. Understanding your personality is a basis for understanding your spiritual self. Yes. And your mission on earth. Ask your angel to help you. Affirmation, I seek an understanding of myself in my life. This is so perfect for right now. Is this more understanding of what's going on with DR in his case? Um, again, all this information is for entertainment purposes only. And this is about Dylan Rounds. Okay. All right. Um, let's do one more. Um, the Shaman Wisdom Oracle. Do you have a message for us from the Shaman Wisdom Oracle today during this reading, for this reading? Do you have a Shaman Wisdom? Ooh, I barely seen that. We got elk. I think that's it. Elk, number 15, that adds up to six, which I started the reading at six minutes exactly. Um, six is health, wellness, daily routines, and boundaries. Um, it says north, masculine, and fire. More fire for Dylan Rounds' readings. Okay. Um, yep, that's the only card. All right, so let me get the guidebook out really quickly, and we will read a short little message um, that will tell us more of the meaning of this. Oh, so amazing. There we go. Elk, North, Masculine, Fire. It says, I am Elk. I run the distance with stamina and strength. I feel my powerful legs carry me steadily away from my enemies in danger. I'm serious. I swear he ran. I swear he ran or tried to run. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, my ability to survive is based in pacing myself using no unnecess unnecessary movement. My fiery jealousy rears its rack when confront confronted with competition. Fight. Yep. Keep getting that too. But my love is deep and powerful, emanating from my pure heart. I prefer the company of my own gender when not meeting. Wow. Oh my gosh. Can you believe we just got that? Wow. That's huge. That is huge. 
I need to write that down. Oh, I almost lost my pen. It almost fell down my stairs. Oh my gosh. Gender when not mating. That's interesting. Okay, let's finish reading. <clears throat> wow, this has said a lot already so far. Okay, when not mating, my loyalty is fierce but gentle. I am capable of great accomplishment. I am gratitude. I am majestic and beauty. M I am majesty and beauty. That's what it says, sorry. I run the distance with stamina and strength. If I have loped into your life today, I'm reminding you to pace yourself. Are you taking proper care of your physical body and your spiritual needs? You can accomplish much from the strength of purpose deep in your heart, but not if, you, but not it. I think it says, I think it's supposed to say, but not if you are unwell. Yeah. Or burned out, burned fire, burned fire. Oh no. We'll ask after this, okay? Uh, my medicine for you is an indication that you need to reestablish your connection to your own feminine and masculine nature. Do you need to develop more power or more gentleness? Perhaps you are jealous or envious, or you are on the receiving end of these energy snap snapping emotions. The need here is to go within, find the piece of the puzzle that provides answers to the riddle. This is exactly how his case is. Sorry, there's a lot of smoke now. <laughs> okay. Whoopsies. All right. Once found, release it, let it go, allowing unconditional love to flow freely in your experience. I am majesty and beauty. I, I think that has said a lot. These are so powerful, this deck. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's pick out. Ooh, let's do the divine or tarot of the divine. Okay, let's first ask about the gender when not meeting, okay? Um, I know he worked a lot. I know he had help, things like that. But can you tell us more of what this gender thing may be? Is it... <sighs> okay, was he just... I'm sure he was surrounded by males all the time. So, did he like prefer males more than females? Just gotta ask. We got, okay, so it's a, ba it's a balance thing. So we've got two of pentacles. This is imbalance, juggling, or trying to balance. So it was just this way, this way, trying to balance, right? That's kind of what we've gotten this entire time during his cases and the reading, okay? All right, so now, what is this burned? Can I ask, was he burned? Was DR burned? Was DR burned? Was DR burned? What the heck? <laughs> okay, we've got three. Oh my gosh, I think so. We've got the Queen of Wands. There's a volcano in the background, or it could be a mountain that is gonna catch on fire or was on fire before that. That's That might be where he may be. Um, Queen of Wands first. Then we have Seven of Wands. Victory, um, standing up for yourself, um, fighting back. Um, Victory, self-recognition, spotlight, okay, lit, lit up, the stage lit up. And then we have three of wands. So that is taking action to make, make plans, embarking and trading. So let's read the queen of wands. Gosh, you know, he may just have been possibly burned, possibly, um, it's horrible. Wands is fire. Okay. All right. So let's read this. Peli, Hawaii, Hawaiian deity. The queen of wands represents a fiery force. The volcano goddess Peli's rages can be destructive, but her blessings are just as powerful. She's create. She is the creativity of dance, the nourishment of rich soil, and the chaotic force of an explosion. Ooh. Okay. Um, optimism, independence, confidence, passion, verve. 
Okay, let's find the seven of wands. Wands is more fire energy. It, we, we got all, all wands just right there. So it's all fire energy, okay? Something to do with fire. So John Henry, Alabama, American Folk Tale, the Seven of Wands represents indomitable force. Against all odds, John Henry stands up for what he believes in and is willing to fight to the bitter end. Yeah, okay. Um, his courage and resolve is an inspiration even to those who disagree with him. Endurance, attack, fighting for beliefs, perseverance, mounting, a uh, defense, mounting, mountain. There's mountains behind him as well volcano and there's a castle in the clouds with this one the three of wands taking action to make plans um embarking trading she's climbing this ladder so is it like climbing a mountain like i hmm okay the enchanted pig romania romanian fairy tale the three of wands represents hard work and travel yeah yeah i think um he was moved okay um the princess takes a long journey to rescue her prince making sacrifices and surviving trials along the way if she stays motivated her efforts will be rewarded self-motivation freedom reward and romance all right okay so now let's move on with our original questions so okay you've got to check out crystal medicines first spirit box session of dr and then the second spirit box session of dr Wow, a lot of my questions stem from watching those videos. All right, so they will be linked in the description below. Check them out, okay? So in the next one, the second one um, of hers, it said, it just said on the Spirit Box session, take his truck, okay? So is this Dylan's truck that they were talking about? Nine of Cups, more red. Her dress is red. Um, nine of Cups can be overindulgence, uh, alcohol involved, uh, hard work. Your wish fulfillment is going to come in. Um, a wish heard to the universe. So let's read. Cups can be feelings and emotions. Uh, water. Okay. So. Taj Al Muluk and the Princess Dunya. It says, I ran a Arab Arabic folktale. The Nine of Cups represents a happy ending achieved in unexpected ways. Prince Taj al Muluk fell in love with Princess Dunya, but she refused men. He used trickery, disguising himself as a woman in order to win her heart. Dreams realized fulfillment, pleasure, recognition, triumph. Okay. This Seven of Wands can be triumph as well. All right. But. <laughs> Was this one of Dylan's trucks, though, that they were talking about, take his truck? Was this one of Dylan's vehicles? Okay, I thought so. It's an Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is truth, the truth sword, clarity, um, truth. And Aces is a yes. So I do believe they took one of his trucks. So let's ask this. Was it his grain truck? Because I don't think so. Was it his grain truck? Was it DR's grain truck? I don't think so. I think it was the other truck. Was with the four-wheel drive. Was it, okay, was it the one with the four-wheel drive not working? I'm not sure. This is what I've gotten before. Was it the one um, that had the four-wheel drive that wasn't working? The devil, look at the red. Um, the devil is Capricorn energy, strings attached, possessions, material things. This to me is a yes. Um, I do believe it was the one with the seat move forward and um, the four wheel drive put on when it wasn't working. Um, the devil can be malevolence, negativity, strings attached. Um, yes, definitely, I think so. And look, fire, yeah. You know what? Let's read that one. I'm kind of curious what else that one says. Bush, bo, boy, boy, tada, boy, tada. Um, Brazil, Brazilian mythology. The devil gives into the ego, lusting for unnecessary or harmful things, unwilling to leave negative situations. It is a dragon sitting upon a pile of gold. It does not need a person setting a forest on fire. 
for their own gain. Okay. We gotta watch for a fire or possibly look into previous fires around the mountains near there. Loosen. Okay. Um, it says greed, controversy, violence, strange experiences, addiction. Okay. All right. Um, and then my next question was, what color was the truck? I think we got that. Yeah, I think it's red. Um, or like red, maroon, something like that. Okay, it said uh, in the session, you ought to tell me what you put in the house. Just said that on the spirit box session. You ought to tell me what you put in the house. Is it supposed to be Dylan's house that they're talking about? Is it supposed to be DR's house? Wow, we got the lovers and it's Beauty and the Beast in this and there's red roses. Okay, the lovers can be two different energies, two energies mixing. Um, it can be a relationship. Um, did he live there in this camper with somebody? Or maybe it was somebody else, a relationship or two energies that live in a certain place. Okay, it says the Beauty and the Beast, China, Danish fairy tale. The lover's card represents romance, opposites attracting, the duality and balance of carnality, physicality, and fire versus spirituality, emotions, and water. The pair emphasize the importance of communication and herald an important crossroads. Love, harmony, trust, a leap of faith, choice. So let's ask this. Was it a couple, like a man in a woman's house? Was it um, a man in a woman's house? Like a couple? Was it man in a woman's house? Temperance, I think so. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, more fire, okay? Um, temperance can be divine timing, mixing of cups, mixing energies. Um, celebration, um, angel guidance, or just guidance, um, Archangel Michael. But that to me is a yes. I think it's a couple, a man and a woman's home. We're, we'll see what we can ask about what it was. Bodhitsva, I can't say the last name. India Buddhist Bodhitsva. Temperance is about balance and meditation. It is being mutable, recognizing when to change with the times and when to change the situation itself. The Bodhitsva ident identities are fluid but their good will remains constant moderation harmony purpose good influence re reconciliation so that to me i believe whatever it was saying was about some couple's home a man and a woman something can you tell us what it may have been you got to you, you ought to tell me what you put in the house what were they talking about what were they talking about? The you ought to tell me what you put in the house. What is this about? Can you tell us what this was about? Strength. More fire energy. Strength. This is Leo energy. Taming the beast. Courage. Lion and the lamb. Uh, number eight. Eighth house is regeneration, death, rebirth, um, sex. Um, let's find strength. Um, eight is the affinity symbol. Always free flows. Hmm. Tam Lynn, Scotland, Scottish fairy tale. And she's, um, she wrestles. It's an alligator slash lion slash bear. Okay. She's a redhead. The strength card is about willpower and determination, focus, persistence, and the ability to confidently stare any challenge in the face and overcome it. This is not physical strength, but a purity of heart and purpose, courage, conviction, control, determination, patience. Hmm. Okay, check out what's on the ground. Was it a substance? Was it some kind of mind altering substance that they were talking about? Six of cups. Okay, six of cups is memories, childhood, childhood memories, 
Um, somebody you've known for a long time, don't let your past hold you back. There's a, a crow, no, I think that's a raven. Let's find the Six of Cups. Somebody with a past of drug abuse or something, okay. It says the Snow Queen, Denmark, Danish fairy tale. Snow, it could have been cocaine <laughs> or methamphetamine. Let's ask after this, okay. The Six of Cups invokes a nostalgia for sweeter times. Kai and Gerda are best friends as children, but when Kai is struck with depression, he leaves with the Snow Queen. Through many adventures, Gerda saves him, but by then, innocence is gone. Nostalgia, that's crazy. Um, old friends, simple joys, sharing, and childhood. Simple joys for them. So was this uh, methamphetamine? Can you tell us if this was methamphetamine they were talking about? Was this methamphetamine they were talking about? Now we have eight of coins, a job. Uh, eight of coins is eight of pentacles. This is the job card, trying to create something, trying to master something. There's swan flying above her, they're white. She's picking up pentacles on the ground that have thorns on it, okay? Um, she's crying, she's redheaded. So let's find the coins. Six swans, oh, there are six swans. We just had this six of cups. Okay, so let's read this one. Germany, German fairy tale. The eight of coins represents a long haul, the sloth in the middle of a project that needs to be completed. The little princess needs to keep weaving nettles in silence if she wishes to set her cursed brothers free. Craftsmanship, commitment, determination, ambition, concentration. Hmm. Okay, were they talking to Dylan when they said, you ought to tell me what you put in the house? It was, were they talking to Dylan? Were they talking to Dylan? Two swords, fire. Fire. Two swords is difficult decisions. Uh, feeling blindfolded about decisions, not knowing what decisions to make. Um, could have been talking to a couple people, seriously. Oh, there it is. Her name is Sita. India, Hindu epic Roma, Ma, Ramayana. The two swords represents being stuck between hard choices. Sita's decision between Sila and Karbidis is not easy and cannot be made blindly. It calls for self-reflection. Things can only remain balanced for so long before a move must be made. Facing fears, a stalemate, denial, opposition, a precarious position. Hmm. I think something else came through, um, a, possibly about who he may have known or something like that in their stuff. Um, was it Brenner or Chase that said this? You ought to tell me what you put in the house. Was that Chase or Brenner who said this possibly? Was this Chase or Brenner that said this? Ooh, ooh, that almost flew off the table. Oh, the high priestess, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. She almost looks very similar to her. And the moon, look at the moon, see? The high priestess, she who knows but doesn't speak, okay? She holds the key, she holds the book of knowledge, she holds the information, um, she's psychic, she has visions, she can download, or download, sorry. Um, the high priestess, yeah, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's find her in here. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay, sorry. Um, I cannot say her name. Scheherazade. Turkey Arabic folktale. The high priestess is a keeper of vast knowledge with a story for every situation. Scheherazade asks the listener to focus on what their subconscious tells them, encouraging them to form their own conclusions. Her power is vast yet subtle. Her answer is always mysterious. Wisdom, intuition, dreams, mentoring, and enigma. Was this? Who said this? Was 
Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um, everything went out. That's sucky, man. Let's see if we can get more on there. Um, trying to think what else to ask. How to ask it, honestly. I want to know how to ask this. Um, might smoke you out again. Sorry. Um, okay. We'll just ask if it was Brenner only. And then we'll see what we get. Kurt keeps popping in my head, though. So let's first, you know what? Let's ask this right now. Was it Kurt that said this? You ought to tell me what you put in the house. Was this Kurt that said this? Oh, snap. Ten of swords. Ten can usually be a no for me. Ten of swords is betrayal. Ten swords in the back. Total betrayal. And then we've got the star, Aquarius energy. Um, a wish her to the, or sorry, a wish fulfillment. She can channel, she can be vulnerable. It, uh, she's with this little lamb. And uh, this can be star being presence or star being guidance. Um, we also have king of wands. So an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, energy, fire, action, passion. The king of wands, he is action oriented. He takes action. Very determined. Uh, he always wins. He may have an ego. I think it may be somebody else. I don't know if it'd be Kurt. So let's read the Ten of Swords. Sedna, a Canada Intuit mythology. Ooh, look at the knife and the blood on it. Okay. Um, the Ten of Swords represents backstabbing and betrayal. Sedna's father pushes her from a kayak and chops off her fingers when she tries to cling to the boat. You know what? I think Kurt freaking totally betrayed I think he, I think he betrayed DR. I really do. Okay. Um, she's, even though after all that he did, the grooming, all this information is for entertainment purposes only. Okay. But still, it's like a betrayal um, or something. Okay. Uh, she sinks to the bottom of the ocean and becomes consumed with wrath, eternally seeking revenge. Bitterness, betrayal, rock bottom, matrodome. M martyrdom sorry severing ties okay now we have the star aquarius energy um rules the 11th house um it is the sister alunashka and brother ivanashka the russia russian fairy tale the star is a symbol of hope after a disaster the need to remain positive after misfortune to remember that things can get better again it is staying calm and open to future possibilities seeing your situation with open eyes mind and heart Hope, serenity, inspiration, insight, spirituality. And I think this, the vulnerability may be DR. Okay. And then we've got the king of wands. I think this may be his energy. Um, I think it may be Kurt's energy. Um, it's the Phoenix, East Asia, East Asian mythology. The king of wands is a symbol of strength. The legend of the phoenix spans many cultures, but in all, all of them, the firebird represents nobility, rebirth, strength, and loyalty. Huh, the betrayal of this so-called loyalty that I bet DR thought he had, okay? Um, honesty, passion, leadership. See, every time we talk about Kurt, we get some kind of leader stuff. Every single time, okay? Leadership, charm, and flexibility. Every single time. All right. Did he know, did Kurt know this was going to happen to Dylan? Did Kurt know this was going to happen to Dylan? I can't do that many. Um, can I get like one or two? Um, does Kurt know this was going to happen to Dylan or DR? Did he know that DR was gonna go missing to disappear? Bad stuff. Did he know this was going to happen in advance? Six of Wands. Six of Wands. Oh my gosh, I totally messed up. So the Seven of Wands was defensiveness. So sorry. I don't know how I got that mixed up. But yeah, standing up for yourself and everything. Um, but it was defensiveness. And it can be put in a bu bubble around yourself to protect yourself. 
Man, I'm sorry I got that mixed up. Anyway, Six of Wands is victory. Victory. Self-recognition. Spotlight. Okay? Stage lit up. Sorry. Boo. Okay. At least I caught it <laughs> later on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, Yanenga Burkina Faso Mosi Legend. The Six of Wands represents victory and success. A warrior princess, Yanenga is her father's most prized fighter. Her skill is so great, he never wishes to part with her, but she rebels. She seeks her own path in recognition for her deeds. Victory, praise, achievement, reward, fame. Oh. I had my tiny little incense stick flu. Sorry. Making messes. Making big old messes. All right. So, um... This victory card, for me, it's like, it has so much like light to it. It kind of reminds me of like the sun card a little bit. It's like victory, triumph, um, self-recognition. So for me, um, I kind of do think that, yeah, he knew. I really think um, Kurt knew, okay? So I'm gonna get another deck. Let's see, you know what? Let's use the Herb Crafters Tarot. We haven't used it in a little bit. Just make sure I get my book ready if we need it. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. Um, I do want to ask this. Again, all this information is for entertainment purposes only. Um, did... Did Candace and Kurt know what was going to happen to Dylan before it happened? Did they know ahead of time that that was gonna happen to DR? Candace and Kurt, I wanna know if they both knew that this was gonna happen to DR. Hija, I can never say it. Hija of Fire, California Poppy. Let's find the Hijas. which is the page. Hyja is a page. So this is actually page of wands. So, oh boy, yeah, yeah. I think they did know, oh my gosh. Now that I really think about it, the page of wands, pages can be young and mature, but pages can be a message, something new, or an offer to take an action. Action taking is wands, okay? So let's read this. Um, create with the enthusiasm of a beginner, boisterous play, then sweet sleep. Light up the landscape with golden joy. Magical objects lie on a bright yellow table, a stuffed tiger, a glitter wand, a small cauldron, and a martyr and pestle. Pictures of poppy plants are scattered about like oracle cards. Real flowers frame the edge of the table. A child wraps her dirt, stained fingers adorned with flashy jewels around an amber gazing ball. The hyja of fire jumps at the chance to create, to be creative. She cannot wait to begin a new project. Yeah. Okay. She approaches everything with the playfulness of a child. Knowing the strong elixir of California poppy creates magic. She takes small but confident steps toward independence. She may have watched an elder many times, but now she makes medicine for herself. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Just as California poppy flowers light up dry, wild desert meadows with their brilliant, brilliant color, she stays open to the light, sways with the wind, and radiates delight. Crafting with the hyja of fire. Craft fairy dolls from poppy flowers to inspire enthusiasm. Spend time gathering poppy, California poppy in a wild meadow and craft a relaxing elixir. Do a little gorilla gardening with California poppy seeds. Sprinkle joy everywhere you go. Hmm. All right. Okay, let's move on with the questions. Whew. Um. In the beginning, oh, in the beginning of Crystal Medicine's second reading, um, it said, oops, he's dead. It said that. Okay, so I want to get another incense out. I got some new incense called Forest. If you can find this stuff, it's freaking amazing, my uh, loved one sent it to me 
Oh, it smells so good. It could be a freaking cologne. I'd wear it probably. <laughs> but yeah, she sent this to me. Oh my gosh. It's like amazing. Sorry, I'm taking time and just getting distracted. Blah, blah, blah. That root chakra incense burn all the way already. Ooh, that's going to burn good. <gasps> I know, I'm being weird. Okay, so in the beginning of Crystal Madison's second video, it said, oops, he is dead. So was this Brenner that said this? Oops, he is dead. Was this Brenner that said this? Oops, he is dead. Seven of fire, which is the seven of wands. This is the defensiveness, okay? Putting up a bubble to protect yourself. Worried about coming in and poking it. Um, cinnamon. Um, let's. Defensiveness. No, I don't think Brenner is the one that said it. I was going to ask next if it was Chase that said it. I just want to read a little bit. I'm not going to read it all out of here because these can be a little bit um, long. So Cinnamon, answer the call of the ancients. Uh, seek vision from ancestors. Take a stand for your whole authentic self. An image of the goddess Ixchel and a sunstone are gathered on a table. A rosary is draped across a dusty book of healing arts near a roaring fire. Cinnamon has been crushed for cinnamon tea and now boils on the wood stove. A jar of cinnamon sticks open real remains open and lime is sliced. Um, let's see, crafting with the seven of fire. Study your bloodlines, invite your ancestors to a fireside council, share a warming tea and ask for guidance. Boost your day with fire power, use extra cinnamon in your breakfast. So I don't think it was him. Was it Chase that said, oops, he's dead? Was it Chase that said this, oops, he's dead? Woo. No way, we got another seven. So that's 77. Seven, seven adds up to 14, which adds up to a five, changes, challenges. So the seven of earth is seven of pentacles and it's represented by oak and there's a bunch of acorns all over. So the seven of pentacles is planting seeds. Where is it? Okay. Seven, 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 there we go, by oak. Okay, um, it says, live with by the rhythms of the earth, work slowly and steadily toward your goal, plant for the generations to come. Yep, it's planting seeds to grow and harvest later on um, what, you're been, what you've been building, what seeds you've planted, okay. A large tree stands gratefully on the edge of a lush lawn. The pages of a local field guide are open to oak. A handmade basket sits on the grass full of collected acorns. The sky is blue on this early crisp fall day. The leaves are beginning to turn. Several float down to the earth. Knowing nature is key to knowing the self. Your legacy is intertwined with the moss and trees. Oaks are slow growing, long lived sovereigns of the land. Like the oak, you have worked hard and gathered your rewards. When it is time to build your future, listen for the call of the earth. Oaks grow only about one foot per year. Be patient. Trust your vision to manifest it in its own time. Furniture made from oak wood is durable and hardy. Sorry, I moved. As Texans said on seeing a 1,000-year-old oak tree standing often after Hurricane Harvey, you don't get old by being weak. Have faith in your work. Wow. The fruits of your labor will last beyond your lifetime. Look to the pace of nature for guidance. The seasons will give you direction. Crafting with the seven of earth. Make an acorn necklace to remind you to slow down and live in alignment with the seasons. Take a basket weaving class. Work on your craft. Study the ethnobotany of the land where you live. Hmm. I don't know. Let's ask this. It may have been somebody else. Was it a third person that said, oops, he's dead? That was quick. Adelita of Earth, represented by Yucca. The Adelitas is the key, no, queen? No, knight, knight. They're the knights. 
Yep, represented by Yucca. They're the knights. So it's the knight of, sorry, <laughs> the knight of um, Earth, the knight of Pentacles. He's the dark horse. He always finishes the race. He may leave breadcrumbs. Oops, he's dead is this is what was said um he may have an offer some kind of offer tangible offer um it says yucca put a new spin on an old tradition ground your spirituality in practical ways to honor your ancestors honor the land a young woman finds herself in the desert in winter yeah we've gotten like female energy possibly the third party possibly okay um wow the voices of her elders urge to her to ground herself by creating beauty with her hands. She seeks out long green reed-like plants and discovers the glorious yucca. She creates a bridge between her ancestors and the ancestors of the desert by weaving a brigand's cross and sacred symbol of her Celtic heritage. The Adelita of Earth is driven by the power of place. She explores new ways to embody old traditions using what is locally available to her without depleting resources. She knows yucca is used for weaving baskets, rope, and shoes. With the spirit of her four mothers behind her, she vows to respect the people in the medicine of her home. She explores nature's bounty and creates practical but intuitive connections with the land. She is committed to the earth, honoring spiritual path wherever she finds herself. She is the service of nature without ego. She is realistic and hardworking, crafting with the Adelita of earth. Honor the ancient ones, create important symbols of your heritage with what grows in your area. Teach the power of place, learn the story of the yucca moth and share it with others. Take a class and learn about weaving fiber with yucca. Hmm. Okay. Um, I don't know. All right. Now, um, next question is, then it said on the spirit box, mom watched. Is this Candace? It said, Mom watched. Coriander of Air, which is the king of swords. He's about truth. And we've got the Nine of Earth, which is the Nine of Pentacles. Single independent energy, money maker of the home. I think she freaking watched. Are you kidding me? The Coriander of Air, king of swords, represented by Rosemary. Holy crap. Um, I think she was there. The King of Swords, he's all about truth. He's all about justice. Um, he sees things in black and white. He protects his emotions. He can be the, the lawman or it could be the Watchers. <gasps> the King of Swords is the Watchers card. Not kidding you. Not even kidding. She freaking did watch, you guys. And then the nine of earth is represented by apple, okay? And this is the nine of pentacles. This is the single independent energy. And it, they may be the money maker, the breadwinner of the home, okay? I don't wanna read this one. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, savor the fruit of paradise, peace and plenty. Celebrate wealth by giving. Wealth, see? Um, the hidden star of hope sustains us. Red, ripe, ripe red apples fill a basket on a wooden countertop. Jars of cinnamon, sugar, and oats. Interesting. Okay, sorry. Um, line the shelf above. A hand crank core is attached to the wooden cabinet. Strings of deep red peels curl over the counter. Slices are strung on a garland. Warm applesauce, dry apple tidbits, and hot apple crisp will be enjoyed in the winter. Reciprocity is the key to sustainability. Restraint and self-control with your bounty lead to community abundance. Measure your wealth by what you have to give. Apple is an ancient tree that contributes to the well-being of both the land and the people. Living to over 100 years, apple trees supply branches for fencing material. They welcome pollinators, bear, bear hundreds of pounds of fruit each season, and provide colds preventing medicine with leaves and blossoms. Though harvested in fall, apples last into the spring when properly stored. When you care for your resources with intention, you can feed more than yourself. Apples cut in half reveal a five-pointed star. Believe in the magic of the earth. Crafting with the nine of earth. Give an offering of gratitude to the apple tree as you gather fruit to store for winter. Make extra applesauce and share with friends. String garlands of dried apple rings as reminders of the hidden stars of hope. 
think she freaking watched. I think that was correct, Crystal. I think she watched. How about this? Did Candace watch others hurt her son? Did she watch others hurt her son? The Hyja of Air now, represented by Catnip. And the Ace of Earth, Aces is a yes. I think she watched her son get hurt. And so the Hyja is a page. So the, oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, so the page of air is a, Hyja of air is a page of swords. This is moving to a more solid ground with ideas and plans. And it's the spying, stalking, watching card. And the ace of earth, ace of pentacles. It's represented by nettle. Aces is a yes. Ace of Pentacles is planting that seed to grow everything abundant that you want. It can be money, material things, possessions. I think she freaking watched him get hurt. This is insane. We just keep getting more and more info about her. Again, all this information is for entertainment purposes only. Let's get another deck. What do we want to use? You know what? I want the light seers. Oh my gosh, because you know what? I wanted to show you some of those cards from the Light Seers because they're so telling with the pictures. Like, they're incredible. They say a lot. Let me show you the page of swords. You'll see the spying, stalking, watching. Let's find it. There it is. See, she's moving to more solid ground, walking on the sword with plans and ideas with the light bulbs in the book. And then the birds are behind her spying, stalking, and watching. Okay. Wow. How about this? Oh, this is going to be big. I think. This is a big question. And again, all this information is for entertainment purposes only. Did she help? Did she help hide Dylan? Did she help hide him? That was quick. Um, okay, so no, I don't think so. We got a 10 of wands. I don't think she actually helped hide him. So the 10, 10 can usually be a no. 10 of wands is taking an action to put your burdens down to pack your bags to get a restart or a new beginning okay and the there's an eight of swords this is total mental imprisonment feeling blindfolded and tied up about decisions usually so there's definitely entrapment and mental entrapment okay no i don't think she actually helped helped hide him And these ones always do that. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, my next question after that was, was she actually there? I think so. I really think so. Sorry. too big. Can you hear me? They are big, so I need to break them up into smaller pieces. That one's pretty good size. We're actually having smoke during the entire reading. Wow! Nice. All right. So on the spirit box session, I also said they took boots. That's what it said. So did they take DR's boots off of him? Did they take DR's boots off of him, please? I'm 
truth. That's true. He did. They did take his own boots off of him. This is true. We got justice represented by Libra, number 11. Um, and this is all truth, balance, karma. Okay, that's truth. They did take his boots off him. Okay, and then if so, did they toss them and forget about them? Did they toss them and then accidentally forget about them? Did they accidentally forget about them? Yep, and look at that. Pentacles, it's something tangible material. His possessions, yeah, they totally forgot about them. Aces is a yes. That was my feeling that they tossed him, was doing something with him and forgot about him. Wow. Okay, and then it said, it said, shot me. To clarify again, was Dylan shot? We've asked this many times before. Um, so let's ask again, was Dylan shot? Yep. Look at, we got death. That causes death. Scorpio energy. That causes death. Yep. See, more clarification, more clarity. Wow. Big. Okay. And then if so, was it once? I think so. Was it once? No way. The sun, he was shot once. Yep. The sun is my second biggest yes card on the entire tarot. And then the sun is fire, right? Boom, fire. Yep. One time. Wow. Wow. Um, crazy. Wow. That all right there. Wow. Okay. Um, was he shot in the back of the head? Was he shot in the back of the head? For some reason, I picture like right here or something. Was he shot in the back of the head though? Three of cups. Three cups can be partying, hanging out, celebration, or three energies. Three energies were there, I believe. Was he shot in the front? Not, not, not that many, please. Was he shot in the front? Like right here? I'm going to ask, was he shot right there where I pointed? Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is taking action to build up a wall to protect how far you've come in. You're worried about others coming in and um, taking things from you, um, breaking down your wall. But she's got this wand and it's on fire and it's like right above her like this. Look. Okay. All right. So now let's move on. Um, Crystal asked, who are the names that hurt you? And it said, Kurt Chase. Is this correct? I think there's another one though. Kurt and Chase. Look, three of swords, three energies, three of swords. Look, heartbreak, three-way pain, three-way heartbreak, three swords in the heart. So I do think that it's a possibility it's a possibility. So let's, it's definitely three energies. So let me ask this. Was it Brenner, Kurt, and Chase? Was it Brenner, Kurt, and Chase? Four of Swords. This is laid to rest. Four of Swords is laid to rest. Or recuperation, um, resting after battle. So we went from the Three of Swords to a Four of Swords now. Oh man, I think three of them were involved with hurting him and she was there that was watching. Let's look, look what's on the bottom of the deck, the fool. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, energy. The fool is a leap of faith, trusting the fall, um, spontaneous, adventurous, um, not thinking things through all the way, just going for it. Um, hmm. And it's number zero out of the major arcana. Laid to rest, zero, no more. All right, let's move on. 
it is said oh it was said on this very box session bought that field too that's what it said bought that field too so did dylan make a new purchase of more property before he passed or sorry guys oh sorry did dr make a new purchase of land property just before he disappeared i think so we got temperance sagittarius energy this is mixing of cups celebration divine timing angel guidance or guidance i think so and look what we have we have the page of swords moving to more calmer ground with ideas and plans and it can be the spying stocking and the watching card uh-huh so i've got more questions coming up about that i think he did make a new purchase of property a field too that like it said okay so oh if so did that make someone mad did it make someone mad or something that he bought another field did it make somebody mad that he bought another field that's what i was thinking in my head was mom i'm serious we have the moon pisces energy water cups feelings this is maternal subconscious secrets lies unknown unseen that's a big yes for me for her and i was just thinking her can you clarify did it make his mom mad did it make his mom mad that he bought that field too look what we've got the magician it made her mad the magician's number one one for me is like a ace a yes the magician aquarius gemini libra energy um, the manifesting, trying to create things, can be manipulative, magic. That's a yes. We're getting so freaking much info on her. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. All right. Flip. Okay. Did, did, someone, did someone screw over DR on a purchase of the land, the property, the field? Did somebody screw DR over on that purchase? It could have been her too. I don't know. But we have the high priestess. Number two is finances, material things, possessions, okay? Money as well. The high priestess, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy. She who knows but doesn't speak. She holds the knowledge. She holds the key to the information, the book of knowledge. She downloads. She's psychic. She has visions. She has information. She has the freaking information. Wow. Um, was it officially bought with paperwork and etc. like legally bought? Was this new field property legally bought? Oh man. Oh no way. We have the Empress now. All of these, the moon, the magician, high priestess, and freaking the Empress are all major arcanas. Yeah, they're all major arcanas. So the Empress is the divine feminine. Okay. She has is pregnant with an idea or a plan or about to give birth to something. If this is tangible earthly material things, earth field property. She's the divine feminine, a female influence, female um presence. This is Gaia, Earth, Mother Earth. And the moon, look at the moon. Okay, but I wanna know, was it legally bought? Legally. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if it was legally bought because now we have the seven of wands. This is that taking an action um, to be defensive, fight back and um, stand up for your beliefs, um, putting up a bubble to protect what you're building and what you have. I don't know. I don't know if it was really legal or legit. Okay. All right. So when Crystal asked, is your body in a mine shaft? Right when she started to say that and ask that, it said, I'm buried 
deep in the shaft. It said that, go look for yourself. It's on the second video. It said that right when she was, she didn't even finish asking this. And it said, I'm buried deep in the shaft. It said, they called it a day. They called it a day. And so was it getting dark out or something after he was put down in the shaft? Was it getting dark out or something? Yes, it was getting dark out, okay? Ace, Ace of Wands, this is the beginning to take new action. Ace of Wands, fire, action, passion. Aces is a yes. It was getting dark out, okay? Wow. All right, so now Crystal asked, how is Ed involved? Because this name came up in the first Spirit Box session of her video. It said, I never met him, helped. I never met him, helped, okay? Is this true Dylan never met this Ed? Did, is this true he never met this Ed? Is this true he never met this Ed? The devil, Capricorn energy, strings attached. He has strings attached. I don't think he ever really met him physically in person or anything like that. But yeah, I think this one Ed dude is freaking involved in some way or another. Strings attached. Material things, possessions, addiction, malevolence, violence, negativity. Money too. Strings attached. Wow. Okay. Um, okay, Crystal asked, is Aiden with you? It said Aiden was out here. It said that Aiden was out here. So did Aiden go out there to loosen before he disappeared? Did Aiden go out there to loosen before he disappeared? Okay, so we have the higher font. Number five is changes and challenges. Taurus energy, um, uh, earth sign, um, this can be spiritual awakening, self-enlightenment, or spiritual, religious, or any kind of leader. And conformity rules establishments. I kind of want to read that one out of the guidebook. Then we have the nine of pentacles. This is a single independent energy. The money maker, the breadwinner of the home. You're almost at all of the pentacles. Okay, so let's read the higher font first. Number five, changes and challenges course energy so tradition a lesson ooh spiritual leader or guide enlightenment awakening and service of spirit formal education or training new paradigms as you search for your divine truth you create frameworks of beliefs that help you to expand your consciousness and ground your faith in this reality if you've been stuck in an old tradition or structured way of acting or being that is no longer serving you it is time to let it fall away in order to make space for a better version of you the higher font serves as a gateway between divine source and the seeker, so be open to new paradigms. Gateway, gateway, okay, um, perspectives and teachers in your life. Look to the patterns around you and strive to understand your own internal compass. No, oh, and a compass. Okay, know that while there is wisdom in the teachings of the mystics, the voice of your own heart is the one voice that matters the most. Find the wisdom of the heavens within. I am my own guru, and the guidance I need is rooted in my faith, my belief, and my unique essence. Okay, now we're going to read the Nine of Pentacles. I think it's a huge possibility that Aiden did go, did go there to loosen area or around the area. Um, okay, it said, this Nine of Pentacles reminds me of Wendover a little bit, because that's like gambling and stuff there, okay? Um, spiritual and material satisfaction, personal achievement, inner peace, milestones met and celebrated, the energy of a successful harvest, contentment. You know those moments when everything feels a little bit brighter? You are reaching one of those moments, a culmination of hard work and desire, when you will be stepping into your manifested hopes. These moments of spiritual and material bliss are highly personal and serves, serve as funnels of glowing success. Look for this feeling as it surges into your heart and use its power to move mountains. Spread love and enjoy your harvest. Mountains. Wow. Okay. Go ahead and bask. You deserve it. Spending time alone will help you to process your progress. Then celebrate. Okay. I enjoy the bliss and abundance that I have sown. All right. I want to know this though. Did Aiden meet anybody from the Lucent area in Wendover? 
I keep getting that. Did Aiden meet anybody from the Lucen area, um, Montello area in Wendover when he went through there? Did he meet anybody from those areas when he went to Wendover? Ah! Wow. Okay. So we've got the tower. Tower is Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Energy, number 16. That adds up to seven relationships. Relationships, okay? The tower is lightning striking, crumbling of the foundation. Nothing will ever be the same. Shocking, upheaval, unexpected things coming in. And then the two wands feeling stuck about taking an action. Look at her van. Okay. And eight of cups is like walking away. Walking away. Look, she's in a desert. Made him walk away. Wow. Caused a tower moment. Made him feel stuck about where to go. So he walked away in the desert. That's insane. Seriously? That all relates to his case. I think he might have met somebody, at least one person, at least, in freaking Wendover that were from Montello or Lucen. Wow. All right, the next question. Oh. Okay, so there is a man named Casey Boxlag, missing in Utah, South Salt Lake man. Uh, 29 years old, disappeared June 6th of 2022, leaving his apartment. Is he connected to Dylan's case at all? Is this Casey Boxlag connected to Dylan DR's case at all? This Casey Boxlag, is he connected to Dylan's case at all? Because I don't think so. Let's just ask. Okay, so we have the Four of Pentacles. This is holding back, holding on too tightly, a greedy user, hoarder. Um, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. Okay, here in a minute we're going to switch decks. Holy macaroni. Burn. You're barely seeing any of the smoke that it's been going forever. Okay. All right. So, did he go down to Lucen to buy drugs ever? Did he, did this Casey ever go down to Lucen to buy drugs ever? Ooh, he may have traveled there because we have the chariot and it's number seven. Seven is relationships. He could have had some kind of relationship with somebody there. The chariot is vehicle, mixing two energies well, opposing energies well. This is full speed ahead, forward movement, taking the reins, taking control, um, inner warrior. This is, can be a vehicle. So let's ask, did he ever travel to Lucen? But I think I want another deck. Yeah, let's get a different deck. Oh no, I don't want to drop stuff. Okay. Where's my tarot of dreams? Where are you? There it is. If we need it. Okay. Oh. It said it might rain today. Ooh, clouds are getting thicker. I really hope it does. Oh my gosh, that'd be so amazing. All right. Somebody complained about the sound on my videos and then they came back and complained about the blue stars that I had shining on me in the background and stuff. I'm like, are you kidding me? I just laughed. I'm like, you're a freaking complainer. Like, get the out of here like this is not i'm not here to please any of you guys i'm not sorry like why would i i'm this is my channel like if i want blue stars in my video i'm gonna do it and um so i'm not gonna put up with complainers and such needy people it's ridiculous like how old are we here 
Like, come on. It's just so funny, too. Oh, my gosh. It's like, I've got two kids. Like, you sound just like them. <laughs> I've got a 10-year-old and an almost 6-year-old. Like, come on. Okay. Woo. All right. Anyway, let's move on. Okay. Did this Casey box lag travel down to loosen ever? Oh, oh, wow, no way. We got the job card, the job card. This is eight of coins, which is eight of pentacles. This is the job card. He could have went there for a job, traveled there for a job or through there. No, I think he traveled there for a job. This is the job card. Wow. Did it have anything to do with drugs? Ooh. The moon. The moon. Okay. Pisces energy. The moon can be secrets, unknown, unseen, lies, subconscious, maternal. Oh. Does this Casey box like have family or relationships in Whoa, family or relationships in Lucent area or Bo Montello, Box Elder County. We have the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. She's all about truth and justice and balance. She protects her emotions. She holds the truth sword. Wow, that's super interesting. Hmm. Okay. Something secret, though. Something unknown that he would travel there for. Okay, um. Okay, so that's what was said on Crystal's box session. And also said he is not related to us. When she asked about that, about Casey, it said he is not related to us. Was he talking about Aiden and his case? Not related to him his and Aiden's case? Was that what he was talking about when he said not related to us, him and Aiden? Him and Aiden. Three of Cups. Okay. Three of Cups. Celebration, party, hanging out, and it can be three energies. I think I want to read this one out of the guidebook. And there's two masks. Okay, what, so, hmm, let's read it. It's, he could have partied with them or something. We'll ask that after this, okay? Um, it says, good times, celebrations, parties, good fortune, forced cheer, excessive partying, overindulgence. Uh, three wine-filled cups from a, form a pyramid within a golden gazebo. Masks, golden stars, and multicolored strands of pearls are draped and scattered over the scene. Good times are obviously in progress. This card symbolizes celebrations, both formal ones, such as a wedding or a party, or informal ones, as when we trade ourselves to something special just for the enjoyment of it or to celebrate good fortune. In this card, the sun is not seen in the sky, but rather its warmth and optimism are reflected in the floor tiles. Suggesting the ritualized aspects of formal celebrations, for example, the many small rituals enacted during a wedding. The masks also suggest ritual for a brief while. We lay aside our cares and concerns as individuals and wear the face of merriment, the face mask on the left. Parties and celebrations also help us place in context the mysterious of life, the domino mask on the right, by providing comfort, social rituals to humanize such unfathomable passages as birth maturity joining and death as in all the cards a good time show on the three cups can be taken to extremes as when people tries to cram as much partying into their lives as possible or it could be simply indicate overindulgence astrology mercury and cancer the setting of a celebration allows you co to communicate to others mercury your feelings of well-being and rootedness cancer roots and parties Okay, I think that was still going along with what he was doing there. I think he went there for parties and celebration, like, you know, that kind of stuff. So can I ask this one more time? <sighs> is this Casey Box that connected to Aiden and DR? Is that what he was talking about? He wasn't related to us. The Tree of Life roots again? No way. 
There's roots for Casey somewhere over there. This is the tree of life, the roots. Look, family tree, some kind of tree. But, um, oh my gosh. Was DR talking about, okay, no. And he said not related to us. Oh my gosh, we got crazy wind out of the blue. I see dust flying everywhere all of a sudden. You could probably hear it whistling through my fireplace. Look at my hair. Ooh, we're gonna get a good storm. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, dust is everywhere. Wow, anyway, it feels so good. <laughs> all right, let's move on. Um, dang it, dang it. Let's ask one more question about Casey actually. So is Casey's disappearance related to Aiden and DR's case at all? At all in any way? King of Coins, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, or Earth sign. Um, he is the most financial abundant king. He's, oh my gosh, he's about lineage. Gosh, dang it. He's about lineage. He's solid, he's reliable, he knows how hard day's work. We got roots, roots, lineage, lineage, connections. All right. What is going on? What is going on? Maybe there is a connection. Okay, when he disappeared, did he go over to Lucent? When he disappeared. The nine of coins, which is the nine of pentacles, that single independent energy, the money maker, the breadwinner. He could have went over there for money. Oh, was it for work? Did he go down there for work? Jeez. Oh, uh, no, I don't think so. We got a 10, 10 of wands. 10 of wands is taking action to pack your bags, put your burdens down, get a restart, a new beginning. Okay, and then we've got the seven of wands, the defensiveness. Standing up for your beliefs or yourself, feeling very, very defensive. Maybe putting a, bu a bubble around yourself to protect yourself. Wow. It's getting windy out there. There's the Ten of Wands. And the defensiveness. And you see the checkerboard floor? What does that remind you of? For me, it's secret society stuff. Is Casey Boxlag's disappearance related to secret stuff? Society stuff. Is his disappearance related to that stuff? Ace. Okay. Maybe we'll do a reading on Casey Boxlag later on. Let me just write his name on the back of my list of things. Man, oh man. Casey back slag box slag something like that okay all right um where are we right here okay all right because yeah we got ace of swords ace of, is a yes ace of swords is truth maybe we won't because i have to protect myself and my family okay we'll see we'll see okay all right so now let's move on it said on the spirit box session of the second one it said lipstick, not even kidding you. It said lipstick. Is this Kurt? Is this what they were talking about? Is this what the Kurt thing? Six of wands, victory spotlight, self-recognition. And look, it looks like tubes of freaking red lipstick, the wands. <laughs> oh my gosh, look, look, look. Doesn't it? It gives you that impression, right? And we've got the Five of Cups. Five of Cups is uh, regret and draining, can be overlooking. Um, she's got some 
Oh, you know what? Look, she looks like she's trying to hide out and she's like, she's got a red um, cloth wrapped around her body. Wow. Jeez, that wind is tearing stuff up out there. And we have two cups. Two cups can be a relationship. Two energies. Jeez. Two energies mixing well. Two different identities. I think that's what they were talking about on the spirit box session. Yep. Okay. Or Crystal said, what vehicle was used to move your body? And it said lipstick. Oh, that's right. So I put that. So she asked what vehicle was used to move your body. And then it said lipstick. That's what it said right after that. So is it, is it, I think it was Kurt. But is it the color of the vehicle that was used to move Dylan too? I kind of think so. We got fade. This is um, the higher font. Number five, changes, challenges. Um, a leader. That reminds me of Kurt, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I think it's about Kurt. But I also think that the vehicle to move Dylan was red too. I do. Okay. Um, it was asked by Crystal, what is happening with all the men going missing in the Utah desert? This is what she asked. It said, they've seen a lot dangerous things. And I agree. It said that. And so is this the militia group they were seeing? All these missing men out in the desert? The Hermit and the Page of Swords. Wow. The Hermit is Virgo energy. It can be home. It can be inner light, hidden knowledge, hermiting, pulling back, um, old soul. And then we have the Page of Swords. Pages can be young, immature, or something new, an offer, a message to move to a more solid ground with ideas and plans, but it can be the spying, the stalking, and the watcher's card. So I think they were spied on and stalked. I think they, militia type, whatever group, whatever the heck it is, has something to do with all these missing men. Oh, I'm making a mess. Oh, it feels so good with the wind, but it's like tearing everything up outside. Ah, <laughs> oh, I got flowers hanging and everything, but I... <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> now you get to see what we do <laughs> with our big old freaking AC right here. It's like... <laughs> like put a blanket over that thing real quick oh it's so dusty outside you guys want to see it let me show you okay let me show you uh, there's the fan okay there's outside see how dusty it is look at that because we're full of sand brace yourself brace yourself ah let's see let me show you yeah, I gotta move my stuff. You know what? I'm gonna put you right here for a second. <laughs> ah! Hurricane! This my mom gave me, and I have to save it. Holy crap, guys cannot believe this, can you? It is so crazy. Stay right there, because my camera's right here, okay? Stay right there. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Every now and then we get these crazy monsoon type winds and rain and stuff. Can you believe that? This is what we deal with. Oh, you see my daughter. 
I hope you didn't see her too much because I don't want to show my kids so, so often. But now I've got to put a blanket over my AC because it's just too crazy. It's blowing my carts everywhere. Woo! Oh, it's so crazy, you guys. Isn't that funny? But it sucks too at the same time. Because you worry about all your plants, your garden, and things that hang. I really don't have many wind chimes because they'll get broken. But here we go. <laughs> oh, let me move you a little bit. Oh. Bummer, man. Bummer. <laughs> Look at my hair. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, all my smoke went out, but oh well, we're a little crooked. Oh, no, 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 not that way. This shall work for the rest of the video. <laughs> that is so freaking funny. My hair tangles so easy too, so I have to constantly brush it when it's windy. <laughs> anyway, oh my gosh, you guys, we are almost done with the all the questions that I had. Come on, stay down. Uh, All right, gave you a little action there, didn't I? Now it's blowing my blanket off of it. Whatever, we're almost done, right? Um, so yeah, I do think it was the malicious stuff. Okay, I do believe in that. Oh, I think some was, but you know what I thought of? I also thought of the dugway military industrial complex out there that's where they do all like these testings with their um they do all their training stuff out there and it's top secret stuff guys i mean you can drive through and see the sign right there and it's like there's nothing out there you know Th that's what they do out there okay so with these missing other missing individuals does it have anything to do with the industrial military complex they have out there in Dugway as well? Oh, no way. We've got five of wands. Um, fighting, struggling, and battles. Oh, but we also have 10 of swords. Oh, it's raining now. 10 can usually be a no. Five of wands. War, battle, struggle, arguing, fighting. Ten of swords can be betrayal, ten swords in the back. You take it what you think, like, you know what I mean? So here's the five of wands. Wands is the fire, passion, action, um, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, energy. And then, Holy crap, it is like monsoon out there. Um, we have the Ten of Swords. Swords is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Betrayal, Ten Swords in the back. You guys can hear the rain, can't you? You can hear the wind, I know, because it freaking whistles, but I hope you can hear the rain. It's really coming down. Okay, um, I'll probably change decks here in a minute. So the next question, Wow. Um, it said, it said in her crystals video as well, it said, the hole was deep. It just said this, okay? So is this a straight down mine shaft where DR is? A straight down mine shaft of where DR is? Because I would personally think so. We've got three of swords, heartbreak, Three swords in the heart. Betrayal. Three energies hurt. But look at the swords. They're pointing straight down. I think it's a straight down mine shaft of where DR is. And it said deep in a hole. Okay. All right. Um, it said buck skinned knife. Oh, let me show you my book and I'll show you what they look like. There's a picture, it's a drawing or a painting. 
And look, it's a buckskinned knife. So it's right here. See that? It's wrapped in buckskin, okay? So that's what that would be. And on the spirit box session, it said buckskinned knife, okay? So is this a knife that has buckskin on it like that picture? Is this a knife that has buckskin on it like the picture? Wow, I think so. We have the palace of swords. It doesn't just end at the king's. It goes on to a palace in this tarot of dreams. And swords is truth, clarity, knowledge. Um, and we have the fool, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, just like the swords. They're both Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. It may just have buck skin wrapped around this knife. And so let's read the palace of swords and we'll read the fool as well. Cause we're really getting close here. Palace of swords let's find swords oh. okay and i'll hold it up for you wow this is amazing okay there's that and it says this card shows an environment that promotes clear thinking in the cold crisp air the structures rise above the obscuring mists that usually cloud our thinking and are built as observation decks for a purpose of efficient perception rather than luxurious living. The many wings suggest the mind's ability to overcome emotional biases and attain a global perspective. Look, he's holding a globe in the fool card. Okay, the fool is a leap of faith, trusting the fall, spontaneous adventurous, um, uh, kind of immaturity sometimes, or possibly uh, a young mind. Um, it, it's the zero out of the major arcana. Um, uh, that's where they start. Um, okay, let's read the fool. And it says, being foolish, playing the fool, making fun of something, the beginning of an endeavor or journey, an orthodox or nonconformist approach, being a catalyst for change. The key to the fool card is in the sub sur subversive quality. In dreams, our minds discard. The everyday thought patterns and stylized behavior imprinted on us by society, leaving us with startling juxtapositions and illogical conclusions. Likewise, the fool announces the start of the journey like a trumpet call from the land of dreams. In the terror of dreams, one glance at the fool lets us know to expect the unexpected. At the same time, the fool is the protagonist of our story. The hero, he, the hero who will travel across the landscape of dreams and encounter each of the characters of the major arcana in turn the first thing we notice is the fool's audit anatomy his wide hips give him a strangely androgynous quality next we see that his face is not there except for the eyes behind the mask uh, we might also suspect him of being simply an empty set of clothes expect that he except that he clearly has hands he is simultaneously present and absent, making him a perfectly appropriate lead character in the series of dreams that is the major arcana. The fool is a literally nothing, as shown by the empty face and everything as shown by the metals on her breast pocket. The sun, the moon, and the stars, the three astro... I can't believe this. The three astro... astro ah. <laughs> the three astronomical bodies echo the sequence star, moon, sun in the 17th through 19th cards of the major arcana. They also suggest the world card, which we, as we shall see, is the mirror image of the fool card, the beginning and the end of the journey. In the hand, in his hand, sorry about the noise, guys. In his hand, the fool holds a hoop and a crystal sphere containing the world. In his innocence, he believes them to be merely stage magic tricks. Oh, I hear thunder. I love thunder. Okay, a metal hoop is a standard piece of equipment in a stage magician's repertoire, and the fool holds it at his mid midsection as he has just produced a crystal globe out of it, suggesting that he could use it to create all manner of things. Although the fool is less than nothing, he carries within him the seeds or potentials of everything and brings them forth in endless supply. He is a catalyst who brings about change in the world. As such, he must necessarily be subversive be considered subversive for one can only create the total totally new by ignoring or rebelling against the old okay 
Uh, the crystal globe suggests again the potential for everything that is hidden within the fool and is another reminder of his twin card, the world. The fact that the globe is made of crystal indicates the fragile quality of a new idea, powerful yet easily crushed. Um, the shape of the fool's waistcoat suggests a fish. Fish have often been used as symbols of thoughts and feelings coalescing out of the murky depths of the ocean of the subconscious. Perhaps this fish is about to leap off the fool's chest swim through the hoop and manifest on the material plane as an idea or a feeling that comes to us. Uh, holy crap. Okay. Um, feelings that come to us seemingly out of the blue. The fool's posture is quite determined, yet he stands on a ball decorated with the same celestial body seen on his breast pocket medals. This is a precarious stance at best, but all the more so considered... It's awesome. <laughs> okay, guys. So sorry. Um, is this that important? This buckskin knife, the thunder, the rain. You know, is it that important? We'll see. Okay. Um, let's see. Where are we now? Cause I keep freaking losing stuff. <laughs> the precariousness of the fool's position mirrors the precariousness we often feel when we strike out into the unknown. The butterfly that so fascinates the kitten is also a symbol of change and emer emergence into the unknown. Just as a caterpillar must break through the cocoon before it can stretch its wings, a rainbow encircles the orange ball like the rings of Saturn. This provides yet another link to the fool's twin card, the world, whose astrological attribution is Saturn. There is another reason for the absence of a face. The fool's face is your own. The fool's voyage is your own. And its journey through the sequence of the majors is only an echo of your journey through life. It's your own eyes that you see behind the fool's mask. This is so long. <gasps> yes, about done. <laughs> and it says, Hebrew letter Aleph means ox. The ox is used to till the fields. Wow. I wonder if he was given a buckskin knife or something. We'll ask after this. Preparing them for the introduction of seeds, which will eventually grow. Astrology, or Uranus, is a planet of eccentricity, originality, and anarchy. Okay, let's ask this. Um, but I want to get another deck. Yeah. I'll leave those there for now. Oh. Let's put that one there. Yeah, definitely a new deck. And uh, man, it is just pouring. I love it so much. We'll use the muse. Wow. We need this rain, that's for sure. Okay, knock out the previous energy, if any. Okay, honey, go play for a minute longer. I am so close to being done, okay? Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. No way, not in that rain. It's like crazy windy. You're going to get blown away. No. Uh, yeah. It's really windy, honey. They're breaking branches. The wind's breaking branches off the trees. Wait till it calms down and uh, we'll be able to do something. And I'm almost done. Okay. Love you. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Was DR given a buckskin knife, possibly? Was DR given a buckskin knife? Just wanna, I just wanna know if he was gifted or given a buckskin knife. Five of voices, which is a five of swords. This is alienating those around you, kind of blocking others around you, tunnel vision, or winning at all costs. I don't think so. Um, holy crap. Let's see. Voices is swords. So the key words is feelings of defeat, learning from lessons of loss, fighting, winning at all costs, a time to extend an olive branch, seeing what's really important, failure, being hurt, bullying. Wow. Wow. I'm almost done. It's all right. I know. It's crazy, huh? Why does this keep hitting that? Whatever. Sorry. Um, just talk to myself here. 
That's interesting. Um, so did this buckskin knife belong to Brenner? Did this buckskin knife belong to Brenner? Brenner. Again, all this information is for entertainment purposes only. Did this buckskin knife belong to Brenner? We had just we just had five of voices, the five of swords. We have the five of materials now, which is five of pentacles and eight of emotions. So we asked if this buckskin knife belonged to Brenner. The five of materials is feeling left out in the cold, being left out in the cold, putting yourself out in the cold, not letting yourself in. I don't know. I don't think so. And then the eight of emotions is walking away. And she's walking away in the desert. Like walking away. Um, let's move on. I don't know. I don't think so. Um, don't open that door. Yeah, don't open that door. It's going to leak underneath the door because it's coming from this way. It never does from the north. It's coming this way, okay? I'm almost done. Um, it, it was said on the second video of Crystal Medicines, again, um, up the canyon slope. That's what it said, okay? Um, is this in Bald Eagle Mountain area where Dylan may be? Is this canyon slope in Bald Eagle Mountain area where DR may be? Because I, I keep feeling that. Uh-uh, you guys, you guys, I'm not kidding. Look, ace, ace of materials. Materials is an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, earth signs. It's something tangible, material. Okay, no, 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 leave it shut. Hey, you got to sit down or something. Don't mess with the door. And um, aces is yes. I keep feeling that DR may be in the Bald Eagle Mountain area. And it said on her spirit box session, crystal spirit box session, up a canyon slope. That's what it said. And I asked if that was in the Bald Eagle Mountain area. Is this where Dylan may be? It, up a canyon slope in Bald Eagle Mountain. Is this where Dylan may be? Up a canyon slope in Bald Eagle Mountain. Okay, we have 10 of emotions, which is 10 of cups. 10 can be a no. Um, really odd. But 10 of cups is your most emotional, abundant life. Home, family, foundation, structure. Solid foundation. Solid structure. This may be... Oh, uh, this may be... I don't know. Uh, I'm going to ask some more questions here in just a second because I've written written them down. And it may be giving us a little bit more information about where exactly he may be. Um, maybe solid structure foundation. Okay, so it said on the box session as well, give me something to put the boards back down. This is what it said, okay? Are these boards covering the mine shaft where DR is? Three of materials, or I mean, sorry, three of inspiration, which is the three of wands. This is taking action to build or to make plans. Taking action to make plans. Henny, you gotta go do something for a minute. I'm almost done, okay? Um, and it can be embarking and trading, but wands is sticks. It can be boards. And look at the dominoes falling. I picture boards and rocks like shoved down this mine shaft where DR may be. Um, are these boards covering the mine shaft where DR may be? Are these boards made of cedar? Because it was said on the box session, cedar bra bracks. It said cedar bracks, but I want to know. Is this cedar boards? Is it made, are these boards made out of cedar? That flew almost down. Eight of voices, eight of swords. Entrapment, look at that, entrapment. <laughs> eight of swords is mental imprisonment. Feeling tied up, can't get out. Um, usually about decisions, but this is entrapment. But I wanna know, are these boards made out of cedar? Because it said cedar bracks but I wanna know if they meant cedar boards. Um, are these boards made out of cedar, please? Muse of, of voices. This is the king of, of swords. He's about truth. He's about justice. 
He sings, sees things in black and white. And look at the boardwalk, you guys. I think these boards, or some of them, may be made out of cedar. I really do. Let's find this one. Here we go. This is the king of swords, this muse of voices. Communicating with truth, intuitive knowing. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, integrity, directness, honest leadership, diplomacy, finding spiritual truth and purpose, bird's eye view, blending strate strategy with intuitive knowing, avoiding manipulation. That bird's eye view, I, seriously, I think that shaft is like, is like a straight down one, okay? And it says the walkway of consciousness, the muse of voices dances freely at the gates of enlightenment, drawing heavily on both experience and inner clarity. She knows that what her mind creates and what it receives from the world are both used on her own perception of the facts. And yet she also knows that collective truth agreed upon reality is what we must use to share our dance of joy. She whispers to speak clearly and to step into your position as an unbiased, truth telling leader allow the wind to whisk you past any voices that seem to stand in the way between you and your dreams but be authoritative be authoritative when it comes to honesty integrity and blend diplomacy and intellect on your way to transcendence steering clear of sh showy displays made with the false beauty of smoke and mirrors will allow you to focus on the art of the mind and put your head in front of your heart while you find your voice and use your tools of perceptive independence light with me the world on truth sweet drop of trust ignite more light more ignite more fire stuff okay flight with me and all your youth our sacred will speak right i want to know were these boards lit on fire in this mine shaft of where dr is were these boards lit on fire where dr may be in this mine shaft were they lit on fire? Is this the fire where Dylan may be? We got three cards. Strength. Another muse, a king, and a queen. Ooh, we have a king of materials and a queen of materials. Okay, strength is Leo. It's a fire sign. This is the lion and the lamb taming the beast. Um, they're in the desert with the pyramids. Eight is the affinity symbol. Um, it's courage, um, persevering. Let's read the strength card. I really want to know if those boards were caught on fire, lit on fire or something where Dylan, DR maybe. Okay, so it says gentle influence and strength, courage, fierce serenity, innocence, pure thoughts and actions, honest tranquility, gentle leadership, Flexibility and strength in the face of uncertainty, purity, integrity. The gentle courage of angels. And it says, and oh, what a curious sight we must be, she mused. This tiny thing perched on his head, leading the way with her breath. Ah, but they don't know you like I do, he continued. This sounds like freaking Kurt. Have you heard him say, if they're going to find him, no. If anybody's going to find him, it's going to be me. I know everything about DR. That's what he said on the telephone, okay? So this says, um, ah, but they don't know you like I do, he continued, in all the strength you carry. He could feel a wave of brave tranquility radiate from within her. All that flexible defiance, all that softness, and yet somehow all the beasts, both wonderful and terrible, seem to take great pleasure in bowing before her. They yield to her quiet strength and fall reverent to her peaceful demeanor for the power in her breath is calmness and embodied. He looked up at her small toes dangling down into the corners of his vision and tilted his head back to lick them. She giggled and leaned down and wrapped her small arms around his neck and gently squeezed. It's true, she whispered, her love t stopping him in his tracks. What a curious light we must be. Fear, serenity, a graceful nod to the beast, to the fear, to the night. A rooted calm. Wow. That's a lot. Wow. She claims her power toward the wind, toward the world, toward her light. Wow. Now we have the muse of materials, which is the king of pentacles. He's the most financial abundant king. He's solid, reliable. He's worked hard his entire life, and it can be about lineage. And look, there's another boardwalk, and she's wearing a red dress, and there's... um. A sunset 
in the back. Um, abundance, earth, energy, life, material success, the journey of creating prosperity, being able to provide for those you love, the joy of life will live, grounding into the earth, grounding into the earth. There you go. Um, gratitude, comfort, wealth, health, happiness. It says dirt magic. Wow. Okay, it says, in the garden of life, she finds herself at a door. Above it sits a muse of materials reflected in all of nature. She whispers from the flowers, the grass, the trees. She flitters among the birds and babbles in the creeks. This muse uses all the materials of the earth to bring her world into form. She looks down and offers a lesson of manifesting in abundance. Sweet creator, these things are yours for the taking and the using, the fusing and the gentle forming. Wow. Your harvest little sprout rises from the earth, so ground into her low humming energy and breathe in her humanity and warmth. It's time to take another small step toward the gardens of life and commit to watering, healing, dancing, and loving as much as you can. Material success and joys are arriving. Seek the grounding energy of earthly delights and know that your own fertile lands are blooming now. So mesh with me in the nest of wealth, a plentiful snug nutrition. Absorb this magic, this garden of health. Walk the way toward certain fruition. And you know what I've thought about too is that maybe this mine shaft might have some a couple sticks of dynamite or was just recently kind of blown up or tried to or something. Okay, so now we have the queen of materials. So she's the most um, financial abundant queen. She may have an attitude. Uh, she's very confident. She'll turn down a low ball offer. Her earrings are red. Uh, it says mothering and nurturing energy, financial wealth and gain, unconditional love, prosperity, trusting in the universe to provide lessons of lack and greed, abundance, earth, energy, grounding, responsibilities, comforts, the highway of fruition, strong and loving, determined and courageous. This queen stands beneath a poster poster of her upcoming prosperity and ascension premiere. The other muses lovingly tease. Her about her larger than life self promos, but she knows that she must walk the talk in order to model the path to self love and self acceptance. She wants to nurture this in all of us, this path to wealth, health, and joyful abundance. And her unconditional love means she will always teach us how to do it for ourselves. Instead of simply gifting prosperity, she will shower us with warm, nutritious meals and freshly dried linens to keep our spirits up hmm, and offer limitless supply of opportunities for comfort and security she shares a message of being independent and accountable within her safety net of life she reminds you to lean on family and nurture those around you and to welcome in the prosperity and success that it is yours for the taking now self-made and self-belief she stands abreast herself achieved an image of projected self of manifested dreams and wealth a deep investment of her caring and multitudes of joyful sharing Compa compassion hers a special kind of earthly wisdom set of mind. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Whew. That's a lot. All right. Okay. Let's move on. We're almost there. Oh. Um, I wrote this down for the October full moon. So if you've seen my um, reading number four for DR, I wrote, I wrote down, I think I wrote down, I got the full moon of when the full moon may be, and I got the 10th month, um, October. And so I found the full moon in October. It's um, on October 9th at 4.55 p.m. It was in my book. And, but I'm not sure about Utah time. And it's gonna be in Aries. I believe 16 degrees and 33 seconds. So um, we got a possible possibility that DR may be found that day or around that full moon. So let's ask again, will he be found, will DR be found around the October full moon in Aries, October 9th of this year? Will he be found around the full moon in October this year? Will DR be found around the full moon in October this year, October 9th? Will he be found? I'm not getting anything. Okay, I had a catch three. 
Um, and it looks like two flipped over. Oh, we got an ace. I think he may possibly be found by October 9th, the full moon in Aries. We got Ace of Emotions, which is Eight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Water, emotions, feelings. Aces is a yes. Ace of Cups can be self cup of love, an overpour of feelings and emotions. Purity. And we've got another muse, another king. And guess what? This is a muse of inspiration, which is a king of wands. This is Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Fire. This full moon in October is going to be in Aries. Look at all the fire, the mountains. Well, the pyramids and all the fire. Look at all the fire. There you go. I think there's a huge possibility he may be found around October full moon. It's going to be October 9th. And we'll have to see exact time on it, but it's, what I got in my book was 4.55, so it might be Eastern time in my book. All right. So it may be something 55 here in Utah, right? Probably. Anyway, in my last reading, number four, <laughs> I kept saying Aries Sagittario <laughs> instead of Sagittarius and Leo. I kept saying Sagittario. I made the, our own zodiac sign. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. What was that about? Was it just my dyslexia? Because <gasps> I get that sometimes. What was that Sagittario about? Page of Inspiration, which is a page of wands, and then Nine of Materials, which is the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, so pages can be young and mature energy or something new, an offer or a message about to take a new action. Look how colorful. And then um, we've got the Nine of Materials, which is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a single independent energy and may the, be the moneymaker, the breadwinner of the home, and almost at the complete Ten of Pentacles that you worked so hard for. Um, financial, uh, emotional, comfortable, all that okay all right last question it's we had the green color come up in the last reading reading number four okay it was a green color so somebody commented on that video and said there's been some youtube videos um that have been showing and talking about um this green four-wheeler this green quad that supposedly was stolen by chase from a woman who owned it down there in Lucen or Montello area, somewhere down there. So was that green color important because of this four wheeler that was stolen by Chase? Is that why that green color was important? Was it for the four wheeler that the woman owned and Chase stole? Was it that important? Was it important because of the four wheeler, that green color? Um, Knight of Inspiration, which is the Knight of Wands. Wands is that Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, not Sagittarius, okay? <laughs> okay, anyway, this is fire, red, oranges, uh, passion, action taking. The Knight of Wands is very quickly in and out. So he probably, Chase probably quickly went in, stole her four and went out, right? Um, so, and they can be confident. So let's ask this. Does this green four-wheeler have anything to do with DR's disappearance? This green four-wheeler that was stolen. Oh, crap. What is it? What is it? What is it? A nine of inspiration, nine of wands. We just had a nine, another nine. Nine of wands now. Orange, reds. Fire, passion, action. She's in sand dunes. Um, this is taking an action to build up a wall to protect how far you've come. Worried about others coming in and knocking down your wall, taking things from you. I'm not sure. Ooh, but there's sand dunes. Then there's this little dirt road that leads up into this canyon. See the trail behind her? Um, 
Has this green quad been near where DR is? Okay, what the heck? Has this green quad been near where DR is? And we've got the four of inspiration, more wands, four of wands. This is home, family, structure, stability, solid foundation. Very good foundation. And then we've got the wheel. Wow. Wheels number 10, fulfillment, completion, endings, and beginnings. The wheel can be turning like a vehicle or a four-wheeler, right? It looks like a bluish color, green color. Um, but the wheel is turning. And we've got the devil. Capricorn energy. Um, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Capricorn is earthly, but there's fire behind her. And uh, there's green behind her. There's strings attached. Um, the devil is strings attached, negativity, uh, possessive things, um, possessions, material things. Maybe there could possibly be strings attached. There's a solid foundation. Home, family, structure, stability. They're held up by strings, I swear. Look. Okay. And then we've got the wheel turning. And the devil. More strings attached. Okay. And then this reminds me of the wheel turning. And look at the road, the trail. Wow, guys. Um, wow. So, I'll ask one more question about the green quad. <clears throat> I don't even know when this quad was stolen. So, um, has this green quad left tracks? to where DR, the mine shaft is where DR is. Has this green quad left tracks to where this mine shaft is where DR is? The emperor. The emperor is Aries energy fire, okay? Um, number four is home, family, structure, stability. Um, the emperor is the divine masculine, a male influence. Um, he can be a leader. Uh, he may have an ego. He is abundant in all ways. Um, he's in control. Let's read this one and then we will pull one last blessing card. Mm. And there's more mountains, sandy type mountains behind her. And it looks like a trail with all these people on it, okay? And it says keyword success and structure. Leadership, the divine masculine, planning and delivering, building and expanding, and an empire. Legacy, a business person, a visionary, a provider, the time for strategic thinking. Bedrock of strategy. <clears throat> Ooh, there may be some bedrock near where this mine shaft is. Bedrock is like the hard, hard bedrock when you're digging or drilling under the ground, right? <clears throat> it says she strums her fingers and sends a quartet of borealis strings out into the sky more strings more strings attached wow um a simple joy but one that she happily gifts the people below the lights serve as a reminder that there is a symphony of life around them a bigger plan that is not always evident from every vantage point she steps on two so this these tracks might not be visible to at every vantage point right so maybe certain points. She steps onto the solid landscape. Wow. With all the strength and harmonic leadership that a powerful emperor muse can bestow. Sharing her secrets of six. six, 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 six. <laughs> I'm like over freaking reading. I can't believe it's been over two hours. But I got to finish this. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So secrets of success with you lead confidently, gracefully, empower those around you to do their very best work. Be a guardian, a provider, a steward, revisit how you care and provide for yourself and for others. And then her heart lights up when she sees the happy earthly hums from the people below. Um, 
The glow of contented dreams warms the top of the mountains. See mountains, mountains, okay. Um, and peace fills the valley below as they realize that they are protected, for, fostered, and safe. Authority, stability, these things provide control, vision now, and claim your lead, protect, and feed your goal. There you go. There you go, guys. All right. Now we need to pull one last blessing card. Wow. This is DR reading number five. Wow. Wow. Can't believe it. I've done so much. We have had so many questions. Okay. Can you give us one last blessing? Any more clarity? Ooh, that was quick. Patience. Wow. Patience. Have patience. I know. I know. It says, trust the higher forces of life to know what is best for you. And remember that when you are asked to wait, you are being prepared for something even better than you expected. So change your attitude to one of acceptance. Relax and take stock. Ask your angel to enfold you during this time waiting period so that you can listen to the promptings of the divine. Do not rush off on some wild goose chase of your lower will. Do not rush off on some wild goose chase of your lower will. Okay. When the time is right and you are ready and refresh, the next door will open. Patience is always rewarded. Affirmation. All things happen at the perfect time. Wow. There you go, guys. That is the ending of <laughs> reading number five of DR. That's it, you guys. All right. So I hope you guys got some things out of this as well. I think we got a lot. Um, it's been very wild. And um, if you've seen anything that I didn't say, you know, go ahead and comment. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to join the Awaken Intuitives. Anyway, so thanks for being here. I'll be back later on with the reading on the Lionsgate portal and the full moon. Okay. That'll be after. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's going to be really interesting. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and stay safe and huge hugs. Let me glow and let you glow. Be open-minded, accepting, acknowledging, don't judge, have unconditional love, sympathy, empathy. Okay. And, um, uh, Thank you again. All right. I'll see you guys in the next reading. Bye.